Hello everybody, this is Kevin Tiller from Phys Ed Review and I'm back to do a video on how I create a PowerPoint throwing activity with my students. Uh, I've been doing this about four years now and the very first one that I actually created, I created using Spongebob characters so I'm going to actually show you how I do that uh, with Spongebob characters. So what I've done is I've gone on the internet and I have saved some images. This is just sort of a uh, under the sea background. And all these images that I have here are PNG files, which means that there's no background behind the actual picture itself. It's a transparent background. And I'll show you how that looks when you put it into the presentation because it looks really cool. So I'm going to go to PowerPoint here and I'm going to open up a, uh, a new slide or a new project. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete the lettering here. And then I'll take the under the sea theme and put it on top of the slide drag it to the corner, make it fit, stretch it all the way out, and then I'm going to go and take Mr. Spongebob and put him on top. And as you can see, he looks really cool because there's no background. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to what's called the Animations tab, and then I'm going to click on Paths, and I always just do a Draw Scribble because it's easier for me to do it that way. So I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to draw all the way around on the screen itself, on the background, of the under the sea and when I'm drawing I'm just holding down and then when I let go you will see that SpongeBob is going to go really fast so what I got to do is go up to duration here and I'm going to put 25 second duration okay and I'm going to put not on click but I'm going to do it after previous okay then what you'll see is when I play it you'll see that that's where he goes he goes in the exact same pathway of course he's a little bit slowed down now and my students are taking a yarn ball and they're back about 10 or 15 feet and they're throwing, trying to tag SpongeBob with the ball. So once he stops, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another slide and then I'll create another one after that so we have uh, just a few characters that, they can, that our students can throw at. So I will hit copy and paste and I'm just going to take SpongeBob out of there. I'll delete him out. And then I'm going to take our friend Patrick and put him on the slide. And I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. I'll start them in this corner. Again, I'm going to Animations. I'm going to Paths. Draw Scribble. So then I'll have Patrick just kind of waffling around different pathways. There's really no limit to this. It's just your imagination of how well you want him to move around. And again, once I let this go, he's going to go really fast. So i got to go up here and I will click 30 seconds. Here, not on click but after previous. So I'll have him ready to go, and then I will copy and paste. Again, get rid of Patrick there, and then I'm going to put uh, Mr. Krabs in here. So Mr. Krabs is on the screen. Now I'm going to do with Mr. Krabs something a little neat. I'm going to have him off screen, but when I do animations, you'll see what will happen. I draw my scribble. I draw it from him. So he's going to enter from the right, and then he's going to go back, and then he's going to come this way, Maybe go around in the middle a little bit and then go up to the top and then come back and then maybe exit on the left. So you see him go really fast. So again, I'm going to go 30 seconds and then I'm going to hit on click after previous. And then I'm going to go to the slideshow itself and I'm going to set up the show. And I want it to loop because I don't want to have to sit there and continually press the space bar to have a new slideshow begin. So I hit loop continuously until escape. And then I'm going to go up to Transitions and just make sure that it's not on mouse click. Every slide has to be on a different, uh, you have to do this for every slide. So after one second, up here, I'm going to click that off, click here, after one second, and then up here, again, off mouse click, after one second. And now I am done to show you my slideshow, so I'll go back to the beginning, and here he goes. So this is, again, it's just going to continually loop, so I don't have to be over there. Students are throwing at SpongeBob as he goes. And I usually have my projector up about, oh, I don't know, six feet off of the floor, so students' shadows aren't getting in the way of um, them throwing. So it works out really good that way. And obviously, the, uh, the darker that you have it, the, uh, the easier it will be for the students to see it. But it's just a fun activity that the students can actually you know, practice their throwing at moving targets. Uh, it's a safe activity. We're not worried about students throwing balls at each other. And uh, the kids love the, the animations and things like that, the pictures. 
I've also created a Star Wars one as well. If you know anything about me, I love Star Wars, but I figured I'd show you the way I originally started doing this was with SpongeBob. And then we got Mr. Krabs coming in, and here he comes off to the side. Get ready. Kids are like, where is he? Where is he? I can't see anything. Oh, there he is. So it's really kind of neat. And again, the images just kind of make it, make it look really, really cool. And uh, after Mr. Krabs goes and does his path for a little while, again, because I hit loop continuously until escape, you're going to see that after Mr. Krabs gets out of here, and then SpongeBob's going to appear again, and he's back into the shadows playing once again. So there we go. That is, again, how I take a PowerPoint and create a overhand throwing target activity for my students. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is Kevin Tiller from Phys Ed Review, signing off.